Hi, I'm Bry Cox, brycoxworkshops.com. I want to give you guys a good sales tip. A sales tip, because guess what? Yeah, I've got my book. I've got my six-hour DVD course, also video on demand on my website, brycoxworkshops.com. But I want to give you a good tip right now that you can start using. And this is the idea of um, penalties versus uh, discounts. So here's how it works. Um, and by the way, yeah, check out all my other stuff. But here's something. This is just a good little nugget you can use right now. So think in terms of, say, like weddings. I don't know, maybe a lot of people are kind of moving away from weddings. Weddings tend to be something you shoot when you're starting. And then people go like, man, that's hard. It's a lot of work. And they do other things. <laughs> but I actually really like weddings. But you know what I do? I charge a lot for weddings. So when I get a wedding, I love it. And then I put everything I can into it. And I produce the most perfect, beautiful album. And then I also love shooting families. I love shooting kids. But weddings is a good example for this, uh, for this principle. So one thing I had a problem with is people always putting off paying for their wedding. I could get the down payment, the retainer, and I could get a few payments. But the last bit, people always want to put off to the wedding day or after the wedding day. And you get to the wedding, and guess what happens? Now one's in their tuxes. They don't have their wallets or their checkbook. And they'd say, oh, you got to check with my dad. Dad's like, oh, I'll get it to you. I get to the reception. I get. To, I promise. I get to the reception. You get to the reception. He's like talking to everybody forever. You're you're waiting. You've already unloaded your gear up, and you're standing there waiting. He's like, "Oh yeah, man. Can I just mail it to you?" And there's always that. And then you gotta wait a week, and he calling, "Hey man, I never got that." Oh, you know what? Now that the wedding's over, we didn't realize how much everything was costing us. We're a little low this month. It's gonna be next month. It's kind of typical. It's, it's one of the problems with. <laughs> sometimes shooting weddings, is everybody wants to just pay. Like, hey, tell you what, we'll just pay when we pick everything up. Okay, that tends to work. And you, then you call them, everything's ready. Oh, you know what, just hang on to it. Because we had to buy a bunch of furniture and our new home and blah, blah, blah. So, but it's okay. Hang on to what we've ordered and we'll pay you when we can. And then it goes months, right? And it's like, no, I already paid for all of this. I already did all the work. I need to be paid. Just because you haven't paid me doesn't, and you're not picking it up. Like, pick it up whenever you want, or I'll ship it to you, whatever. So that's the problem, is getting paid on time is a great example. So one thing people do is they go, well, there's a penalty. If you don't pay on time, there's a penalty. <laughs> okay. So what do I mean? Like, you go, after this many days, we start adding interest, and we start adding this fee, and we start adding this, and now it's been two months, or it's, it's a week over, whatever. And then people all start feeling disgruntled and honoring. They're like, ah, why are you charging me this fee? Come on, man, just drop the fee. And you're like, hey, man, I got to charge the fee. And then it becomes an antagonistic client relationship. So one thing I learned, I got this from a real estate guy who was having a hard time getting his payments from all of his renters on time. There's always a certain segment that pay on time. There's always a big segment of people that would just, at the end of the month, wait a few more days, and then he'd call them and call them and call them, and then they would all kind of come in kind of by the middle of the next month, and it was a continual thing all the time. So what he decided to do was raise his prices and offer a discount. And that you'd get a discount if you paid early. And, by, and one of the things he did is he actually said, if you pay early every month, at every 12 months, I'll enter all of my tenants into a trip to Hawaii and send somebody to Hawaii, all expenses paid, even give you spending cash. And I was like, why? In my mind, I was like, why are you doing that? In my mind, I was like, why are you paying them to do what they're supposed to do anyway? But the point was is that he literally had every single one of his tenants paying upfront and on time, and it made him more money than it did in collection fees. And it was the amount it cost him to send someone to Hawaii, and that's what he looked at. He's like, I spend so much in collection, I could just, I could send, someone to Hawaii and still have money left over. And that's what he decided to do. So it literally was cheaper for him to send someone to Hawaii than to pay all of this in collection. So one thing I started doing right after that, I was like, that's a good idea. I kind of incorporated it into my weddings, particularly, and I told, started telling people, all weddings have to be paid up two weeks before the wedding. That's now my deadline. But if you pay up earlier than that, 30 days, or earlier, if it's all paid up 100%, guess what? You get the next following bonus items. And there were things that maybe you had in the package before, or maybe some things that are not gonna cost you much, but I just took them out 
and I put them at the bottom as bonus items. Pay early, get these bonus items. And it's amazing how many times I'll be like in another city, another state working, and I get a call and it's like, hi, I still owe you X amount of dollars for my wedding coming up next month. And today's the last day to pay early and I really want to get those bonus items. Can I pay you right now with a credit card? And I'm like, I could be wherever and be like, sure, let me take your money. And so that's the idea is a bonus is way better than a penalty. And it can be literally the same price. It's all in how you word it and how you structure it. So the idea is maybe you have to add a little bit and then offer a discount or um, maybe just take some things out of your package and make them as a bonus. If they don't pay on time, they don't get the bonus. They lose those items. So think about that. Penalties versus bonuses and think of a more positive way that you can get people to do all the things you need them to do like pay on time. Okay, America, check out my full sales course. I've got a whole bunch, six hours plus uh, on demand or on a DVD at my website plus courses on lighting, digital workflow, Lightroom, Photoshop, also video production using uh, Premiere and all the equipment and things like that. All on my website, Brycox Workshops, B-R-Y-C-O-X, workshops.com. And until next time, America.